Hello and welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. As crafters, we are super creative in general and a lot of times have an exact idea of what we want a project or a graphic or something to look like, but maybe we can't find that graphic for sale or we want to tweak parts of it. And so I want to show you some basic beginner uh, graphic design type steps that you would take in Design Space and we're going to use the mobile version of Design Space to do this. Now, it's no secret here at Oak and Lamb, we prefer desktop versions of Design Space just because they are more user friendly. It is easier to see the entire canvas. It's easier to see the actions and the actions are the like buttons and things like that that you are using to create designs. So when, every time I refer to actions, that's what I mean, like weld or undo or attach things like that. Anyway, it's easier to see all of those buttons using the desktop version, but it has come to our attention here recently that a lot of our users and a lot of Cricut crafters in general use a mobile version of Design Space or a version like for their tablet, Android, iOS device, whatever. So we wanted to give you some education on that. I am going to teach you today how to create a really cute Mickey head using basic shapes in Design Space. It will not take long at all. And I have a feeling that after you create this entire image yourself, you're going to get a little bug for design. Um, graphic design is a passion of mine. We do actually have a program here. I teach Illustrator and teach students how to create cut files here at Oak and Lamb. If that's something you're interested in, you do need a desktop or laptop computer and Illustrator in order to do that. But if that's something you're interested in, um, we are more than happy to share that link with you. It is on sale right now. But if this is just something that you're jumping into and aren't really sure if um, jumping into Illustrator head first is for you, this is like beginner and wonderful and I'm really excited to share it with you. So I hope you get the bug too. Um, I am going to jump over into Design Space. We'll get this put together and we will have a fun time doing it. Okay, so over in Design Space, the main menu, as you can see right here, I'm scrolling through it, is at the bottom, and that is where you will find basic shapes. So what we are going to do to start this Mickey head is click on our basic shapes and grab a circle. Let's place it right here. Now, the Mickey head is not a perfect circle, so let's go ahead and we are going to come to Edit. And we are going to unlock this size lock ratio so that we can make the height a little bit smaller. It's going to be a little bit more oblong. So let's start at like 2.4 and see if that looks good. That is just about perfect. Now I'm going to add another basic shape. So we'll go back to basic shape and grab another circle. And this is going to be one of the ears. And we can just keep that size lock ratio locked because I do want it to be a perfect circle. So let's just, oh, the uh, size lock ratio is unlocked from where I unlocked it previously. So we will have to go back to edit and lock that lock back. Now with our handles, we'll just drag this down until we like the size. We're gonna place it over here. This will be one of the ears. So let's make it a little bit smaller here. Um, sometimes it's easier, especially with a mobile version, if you can put the dimensions in manually, um, just because it sometimes is easy to fat finger stuff and make it too big or too small and, and you don't intend to do that. Um, so let's make this ear just a tiny bit bigger here. And now I want to duplicate this and to duplicate it, all I have to do is make sure that it's selected and then come right here on this sub menu and press duplicate. Now I can move it right here. And then I just have to get the placement of the ears exactly how I want them. Um, there is a lock kind of, it, it's, it's called a grid lock. And so when you place your images on the grid, it will kind of lock to the nearest, I think it's quarter of an inch. Um, so that is kind of helpful here. If that weren't on the, and I wanted the two ears to be aligned at the top, then what I would do is drag to select them. And then I would come to edit. And then I would come up to align and align it at the top so that they are the exact same. Um, they're in the exact same space on the XY coordinates. 
And in looking at this, I have decided that the ears are too small. So let's go ahead and change these. And we're gonna change the size of these at the same time just by selecting both of them. And then dragging like this. You can see that both of them were sized at the exact time, exact same time, which is perfect. So once you have the size and the placement set up, it's just important to make sure that the center of the head and the ears are aligned center. So what we wanna do is select both of the ears and group those together. We can press group here on this top sub menu. And then now when we select everything, we can align these. So let's go to our edit tool and we'll come back over to the align. And we're going to press center horizontally and that will just center everything. And now that we have that all set up and good, we are ready to weld this together. So we can come down to actions. Now, uh, keep in mind that I do have everything selected so all the layers are still selected. I'm gonna come down to action and then I am going to press combine. And when I press combine, there's a couple of different options. I can weld or unite. Either one of those actions is going to give me the look that I want. So what I'm aiming for is that the all three circles will now be one layer. The reason I'm going to choose Unite over Weld is that Unite can be undone. So if I create this graphic and 20 steps from now decide that I don't actually like the placement of the ears, then I can undo the Unite action and move them around. If I weld it and in 20 steps decide that I want to change it, then I can't do it. It is a permanent action at that point. So let's go ahead and press Unite. We'll press Done. That looks really great. And then I am going to just create like a cute little, it's kind of going to look like the shorts of Mickey, but be included in the head. So to do that, I am going to um, grab another basic shape. I'm going to grab a square. Let's go ahead and change the color of this Mickey head too. So with the Mickey head selected, I am going to go to edit. And where it says basic cut and operation, that little dot to the right that is gray, that's what I'm gonna choose. And then I can change the color. So let's change that to black. Press apply. And now I am going to make this square bigger just by dragging and dropping. And then I can place this over. Let's go ahead and change the color of it to red because that will be his shorts. And if I like like a more vibrant red than what is available there, then I can drag and select whatever color I want. So we'll press apply. Okay, so now what we wanna do is cut basically the bottom of the Mickey head will need to be the red of this square. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna slice it and in order to slice that shape out, I'm gonna to have to move the Mickey head to the top. So we're gonna bring it to the front just by coming under um, Edit, Arrange, and we're going to press Bring to Front so that the Mickey head is on top. Now we can select both of these layers and then we'll press Slice right here. Now we can delete this layer because we don't need it. So I'm just gonna move it over, delete. And you can see we have our Mickey head and we have the bottom of the Mickey head. Now, all I have left to do is to add some cute little buttons here at the bottom. So again, I'm going to grab another basic shape, a circle, and we're gonna make this an oval. So we'll go back to the edit, unlock that size lock ratio, and then we'll just make it an oval here. And we want it to be a small oval. So we can lock that in place and then we can scroll in a little bit if we want to to even make it smaller. And we do wanna change the color of this to like a nice gold color. And then we're gonna bring it up here for our buttons. And we want to duplicate this so that we can have two buttons. So let's go ahead and duplicate that. And then we're going to, with that one selected, then I can also put my finger on this one and it will select both of them. We'll group this together. And then we're going to align it much like we did earlier. So let's select everything. And then we're gonna to come to edit, align, and then center horizontally. And now we have a cute Mickey head 
with the cute little shorts and the buttons all made out of basic shapes. Now, one thing I do want to point out, you cannot save these graphics as SVGs from Design Space. It's just not a feature that is available. Um, so unfortunately, you can save the project and reuse this over and over again, but you couldn't save this and send it to a friend as an SVG if you wanted to. But um, there are some easy instructions there on um, weld and slice and and we use the align tools and I hope that you are really excited about designing in design space with your mobile app. So one benefit to using your mobile device for designing is that your device is generally with you all the time. So if you're sitting in the doctor's office or sitting at a ball game uh, practice or something like that and are wanting to do some design work, then you can just pull your phone up and do it there. So that's really nice to be able to do um, some of those things there. If you liked this content, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is free to do that. Um, you just hit that subscribe button and you can turn on notifications also so you know every time we go live or post pre-recorded content like this. If you do love what I taught here, if you like the vibe here at Oak and Lamb, you would love our membership here as well. Use the code FUN, F-U-N, for $10 off your first month here at Oak and Lamb, which makes your first month $9.99. That's a pretty decent gamble to see if you like what we're about here. If you don't like it, if it's not for you, it is easy to cancel, and you can do that after the first month, but we would really love you to stick around. We think you're going to love it. You'll love the access to our entire library of cut files, our free commercial use license, access to our private Facebook group where our entire community of Flock members is so helpful and encouraging. We love to help each other craft and give each other great ideas. And then you also get member only content like our podcast and member only videos, as well as our courses that teach you how to use your Cricut machines. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you here another day for another video.